In this tutorial, we will have a container which we will drag into the canvas. For the container, we will look for page. There is no page. We will create a custom property called page one with add. We can change the type of custom property to an array and then edit the array with the first index zero saying page and the next element one saying one. So index zero, index one, two elements in the array. Add another custom property, page two. Add, and for page two, make it a Boolean and click it for true. Add a page three. Add, make it number and call it 777. Page four, add object. The object, make an array, then add a five string and call page five. Looking at the config, we have page one, an array, page two, Boolean, page three, number, page four. Object, page five, string. Going to the toolbox, we can get a button, drag it to my container. In the button, find an event binding, a basic event binding, a tap event binding, and then edit the code. Here I have referenced the variable parent, which is equal to button up to the my container. I have a variable temp which concatenates a string to create a div to reference the parent get page one custom property the element zero which indexes the first element in the array saying page then the second element index one which says one. The capital letter after the get is required. Here I have referenced the parent and set the HTML to temp which will put in this div. Previewing the app I get a button that says page one. The page one comes from the array page and one. Here I have extended the temp variable by concatenating or appending to the end of that string the page two variable preview we get true which is the boolean from the custom property page two extending temp again with page three preview page three is the number seven 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 from the custom variable page three extending temp again with page four we have page four is the object which has page four as a single element i append page five and get the string page five and that is how i have custom properties in the config using censure architect in the design window i can click refresh i can also change the setting so it shrinks to fit change it to horizontal or vertical i can choose an iphone iphone 5 ipad playbook blackberry nokia microsoft surface or edit the size to make it any size i wish reset to the original add a new size spread 3200 then close setting it to Fred not to have sizes that are not usable in the code the generated class which has my config my button there is my button code generated json go to the tap code i could create overrides which is not recommended looking at my container i have blue here saying that it is used if I search for page in my container config, I get my five pages. If I go to the code and then back to my container, I need to search again for page. What I could do is lock the filter so that when I go away and then come back again, the same search criteria is there and I could delete it if I did not want it. The cross or simply cancel my search. And they're in blue, which means they have been included. However, if I go to, say, an object and edit the properties and put something in the properties that is clearly an error, it is now red, indicating there is a problem. If I preview the app, I no longer get the page four, which I expected. So fixing the error, which is indicated here, page four, the error. So I cannot edit the code here. I need to edit the code in config. Editing the code 
changing it to blue, previewing, I get my page four. I could go to the code in my tab and make an error and it tells me the error. Previewing, I have an error in the button. This is where the error is. Fix it. Preview the button functions properly. Going to my container, there is the config here which collapses all groups or expands all groups or I could collapse individual groups. I could have the properties in alphabetical order or reverse alphabetical order. There is also the possibility of going to different tab. There is the container tab, here is the application tab, there is the button which is within the container. Within the application, there is just the application entry point. Have the code, the design, toolbox, save, preview the app, open a project, start a new project, or change the project settings.